happening now, wild weather. Winds gusting at about 55 miles an hour, lightning. The cleanup continues this morning. Death toll rises. At least four state troopers have died as a direct result of air breathed in during rescue efforts during 9-11. And back to school. The kiddos hit the streets this morning. Sheriff Joe Girassi has a warning for drivers. Today, Tuesday, September 5th, 2017. Live and on demand from the Chautauqua Audio Works Studios in downtown Jamestown. This is your source for breaking news. WNY News Now. Chautauqua County is recovering from a wild windstorm last night. That's right. Trees snapped, power lines fell, all hell broke loose as hundreds remain without power in multiple counties. I'm Ryan Hedrick. And I'm Justin Gould. County officials say a strong line of thunderstorms is to blame for the damage. Director of Chautauqua County Emergency Services, Julius Leone. They had actually a garage was moved from its foundation. So I was down taking some photos and talking to the residents to see, you know, to sort of get a feel what they, they experienced and uh, looking at the trees and see if it were straight line winds kind of, uh, kind of effect there. Leon said both the North and South County are cleaning up today. Now the last, last night's fireworks at Bergman Park, well, they were halted after winds reportedly blew ashes onto the crowd there as the storm made its way into our area. Uh, several comments came on, on uh, social media indicating as such, insurance agents are working just as hard as first responders after fierce winds snapped trees in half in Jamestown and around the region. Last night on Fairmont Avenue, this tree right here came down, bringing the power line with it. Now, National Grid reporting about 400 power outages, but that's changing by the second. Log on to WNYNewsNow.com for the latest. The rubble of a fire that investigators say was the work of an arsonist is being removed. Today, crews worked to remove the asbestos-ridden debris from the corner of East 5th and Lincoln Streets. The structure underwent an emergency demolition just a month ago, and hours after it was ablaze there, no word on who is responsible for the fire. A story that will break your heart. The poison is dust hovering over ground zero, maybe long gone, but its aftermath very much alive. But first, here's your Skyline weather forecast. And to look at your Skyline weather forecast for this Tuesday, we remain wet throughout the morning hours, then we clear out in the afternoon with cloudy skies, a high near 68 degrees. Looking towards tonight, a shower or two is possible in the evening, leading to partly cloudy skies overnight. We bottom out near 51. Our Wednesday will be overcast with rain showers at time. Thunder is possible with a high near 64 degrees. Considerable cloudiness on Thursday with an occasional rain shower mixed in. We top out near 59 degrees. More rain Friday, but we clear out as we head into the weekend. From the Skyline Weather Center, I'm Justin Gould. WNY News Now is sponsored by Sound Rhythm Studio of Jamestown, partnered with Chautauqua Audio Works, offering fall lessons in Fredonia and Jamestown. Registration until September 11th. Call us today. You're watching WNY News Now, where coverage comes first. The Main Landing Restaurant. Excellent service, awesome food, and a beautiful view. Everything's made fresh here. We love to be outside, uh, and it's nice inside if it's raining, so we have a choice. Locals and non-locals agree that the main landing is quickly becoming a destination. It's just so casual, and just the food is amazing. Uh, I love the hamburgers. But I really like the tuna I had. The main landing restaurant. Excellent service, awesome food, and a beautiful view. New information coming in about several New York State troopers who assisted New York City first responders with rescue efforts in the moments after the Twin Towers came crashing down have died from terminal illnesses. That's according to the head of the New York State Troopers Union. Thomas Mungir says the air quality after the horrifying collapse of the North and South Towers has left several troopers stricken with terminal cancer. The, the one thing that struck me when we're standing there, uh, there was no office equipment. There was sort of chairs, there weren't computers. Everything got ground up into a fine dust and it was in the air. And you could almost uh, taste 
taste it. it, it you know, like you said, it's very hard to uh, 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 describe unless you were actually there. Mungir says he doesn't know how the death toll will increase as the years go on, but he says that troopers are still working with politicians to make sure that stu state troopers have the best disability insurance. We'll continue to keep you updated on this case. Well, today is the first day of school for many in Chautauqua County, and Sheriff Joe Jurassi reminds drivers to pay attention while traveling the roadways. Jurassi says his deputies will be out patrolling the roadways and enforcing school zone speed limits. We're fortunate that we don't have a lot of incidents that result in horrible things happening. We do get quite a few complaints and there's near misses, but that would probably, I'm safe in saying, it happens at most schools. Um, some of the areas that we see open highway next to the schools of our concerns, obviously, because of the speed of the vehicles passing. Now, the sheriff also wants pedestrians to be equally aware of their surroundings in an effort to keep the roads safe for everybody. And speaking of Sheriff Joe Jirasi, scheduled to testify on the attempted murder trial of a former Faulkner student. Now, Jirasi says he's not entirely sure if he will take the stand today or Wednesday in the trial of Justin Haffa, but he says the DA's office has asked those subpoenaed in the Haffa case to get ready. EagleZip.com is your local one-stop shop for all of your home and business computer needs. Located on Fluvanna Avenue Extension, just outside of Jamestown, EagleZip.com sells and services all brands of desktops and laptops, as well as servers and network equipment for your business. All new computer sales include transferring your data from your old computer plus a two-year warranty. Call EagleZip.com today. Stop by EagleZip.com today and let us make computers easy for you. Coverage that matters. This is WNY News Now. It's are uh, red hot. Look at that home run, that beautiful ballpark. Too bad they're not going to make the playoffs. Nice shot under the concourse. Balls are rarely hit there. The Sox and the Indians, they are one of the hottest teams in baseball. The Indians surging towards October. The White Sox reliever getting ready. But look at this. The Indians onslaught and the pitch. Yeah, that's gone. Ooh, Deep ooh. into right center. Man. You can just hear Tom Hamilton calling the home run. It's gone! But yes, another Jack, back-to-back -back Jacks, and the Indians, wow, they just really put it on the Sox, and now, speaking of putting it on, the Yankees are coming on, that's a home run, controversial call right there, right field barely got the top of the wall, and that's the ground rules there, another shot, I believe this is Sanchez homering into the left corner porch, another shot, the Yankees are showing tremendous power and prowess as we get towards October. Sound Rhythm's School of Music. Get the value and results that you deserve with the Jamestown, New York, and surrounding regions only choice for premier music education, where the area's top instructors give you fun and exciting music lessons for a variety of instruments and styles. We offer private lessons, group classes, master classes, events, workshops, and seminars for all ages and skill levels. Call Sound Rhythm Studio at 450-0072. Stop dreaming. Start doing today. You're watching WNY News Now, your source for breaking news. Located in the St. Elmo building in Chautauqua Institution, La Familia Restaurant is more than a restaurant. So people love the fact that we are committed to the farm-to-table aspect and our produce and focus on sustainability with our seafood too. La Familia has signature dishes. Uh, sirloin filet over on the table. Next is our Aegean chicken and a cider brine pork chop. La Familia even has a singing chef. La Familia, fine dining with a family atmosphere. Let them host your special event today. LaFamiliaCHQ.com well, try to wrap your mind around this. A fitness guru is on the finch of breaking a pull-up record. That and today's Take a Look at This. Hmm. 
Watch this fitness guru break the Guinness World Record for most pull-ups in a minute. Adam Sandel of Massachusetts broke the record by cranking out 51 pull-ups. On hand to watch was Ron the Pull-Up Guy Cooper, who actually set the record back in 2013. Guinness has very strict guidelines for challenging this particular title, and two of Sandel's pull-ups were actually disqualified due to form. But the 31-year-old still managed to beat the record by one rep. Give this guy a hand. No, really, he's, he's probably very sore. After hundreds of days in space, Peggy Whitson is finally back on the ground. The astronaut returned to Earth on Saturday, leaving the International Space Station, her home for nine months. Whitson said this latest mission seemed to go quickly and that she'll miss being able to walk in a spaceship. She'll also miss the view of Earth that she had from space. Whitson has spent a record 665 days in orbit, accumulated over three separate missions. That's longer than any American ever and more time than any woman worldwide. Captain America actor Chris Evans is used to saving the day, and from the looks of this video, his dog thinks he's a real-life superhero. After returning from a 10-week movie shoot on the road, the Avengers actor posted this adorable reunion moment with his dog Dodger on Twitter to the tune of hundreds of thousands of likes within hours. We honestly can't tell who's happier. For Take a Look at This, I'm Jeremy Roth. Jeremy, thank you. Now we have a challenger. Anything you can do, I can do better. Let's see. Yes. One, two, three. And yeah, that's four. four five, five. You're screwing six, me out of one. Seven, eight. All right. You have 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh. And he bottoms out at 13. I declare myself the winner. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's funny. Now the challenge is getting off, off the, desk. the desk. Right. Woo! I already afraid, feel stronger. I was afraid you were going to break it. Protein shake, here I come. <laughs> Woo! One sturdy desk. Oh. What are you saying about my weight? I'm like a buff 50. <laughs> Get Alan on the desk. It would definitely clap. <laughs> Boom! Oh, yes. I don't even want to try. Love you, Al. <laughs> oh, well, that was cute. That was cute. That's it for today, of course. We're back tomorrow. For news 24-7, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, whatever the heck you want. It's at WMID now. We're covered from We're everywhere. Because I'm an old fool who's so cool. If you want to get down, I'm going to show you the way. There it is. Let me hear you say.